Hello everyone, this is Jeremiah Hotman with another tutorial for the Tutorial Brothers and today I'm going to be going over basic modeling with Blender 2.63 and let's get started. So um, basically you'll shift A, get your uh, mesh and we'll just go with uh, plane for now. Scroll wheel, held it down obviously, zoom in and then I will hit tab. That gets you into edit mode. Um, tab again, that's object mode where you can basically just move the actual object around. Um, tab gives you the... you can move vertices around. So say triangle. Control Z. Anyway, um, first I should select the plane. I'll hit A. That'll select everything. I'll subdivide it again. W, subdivide. We'll give it a number of cuts. I'll say 4. There we go. Hit A. That'll deselect everything. And we're going to use the um, bound select, which is B. Hit B and you get this box looking thing. Or uh, two lines. You just hold, hold, uh, hold, click and hold, and that'll select what you want. G to move it, S to scale it, R to rotate it, obviously. And, uh, oh, you see this? Now, if you're editing a plane and you just want it to be a two two dimensional object, this would be bad news because obviously it's not two dimensional anymore. So I'll control Z. And um, this is a, a quick tip or just a uh, little thing that I've found out. It's a little bit easier, makes it a little bit easier. Seven for top view. Hit B and then hit Shift or first select, take your selection. I selected those. I'll hit G so I can move them, right? Then I'll hit Shift Z. That that means it'll move move in any direction, but the selected but the uh, but the z-axis. I will not be able to move it up and down. I can move it left, right, on the x and the y, but it will not go up and down on the z. I could do the same thing with say, I'll move it, and I don't want it to go on the x-axis. I'll go shift x. I can move it anywhere but the x-axis. So see, I cannot move it on the x-axis. I can move it up, left, right but I cannot move it back and forth. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, actually what I'll do is I'll control Z that again. I'll just G, and I'll just hit X to make it move just on that one axis because I thought that looked kind of cool. Hit A, deselect everything. Okay, so then we will... Uh, that's basic uh, mesh. Another thing I learned is you hit C. That gives you this little circle here. Scroll wheel will select more or less. You just hold down and, and drag. Gives you the opportunity to select just specific points. Like if you just wanted this edge here, and then you uh, hit escape and then scale. Shift Z, just so it doesn't scale up the Z axis. And it'll only scale what you selected, obviously. And then you will, um, that actually looks pretty cool. It's like a, uh, a squared baboon. <laughs> All right, uh, A, deselect. Now we're going to get into the um, more uh, intense ed uh, mesh edits. So we'll just tab into object mode. That still looks pretty cool. X, enter, that will remove everything out of the scene. Shift A. We'll add a, oh, I'll do a cube. And we will tab into edit mode. Obviously, we'll subdivide. And we'll give it four cuts. That's a pretty basic box. All right. Now, A deselects everything. B, give you the box select. It'll select everything that you see. However, if you wanted to select the points behind it as well, you also you need to turn this off right here. This is so that you can select these. You can actually see it gives it a little bit of transparency here. See the points right, uh, right there. See it. So hit Z to go into wireframe mode. Z to tab out or to uh, hit solid mode. So what we'll do here is we'll just scale this up. 
give it sort of a, a mask look. Just scale. There we go. And um, basics. So when you're going to be doing something, uh, like building something, you don't want to just drag di drag different op objects in, like like this. If I was going to do this, uh, if I was just going to do like a, a a circle in the middle of this, I'm not going to do that because this is really this is a bad example actually. So I'll try this again. If I wanted two cubes or a, a cubed snowman, say, scale that down. Do you move that up? All right. So if I was gonna do that, that's really bad because if I wanted to move this, nothing happens. So what I would suggest you do is first delete this object, X Enter, and we'll go back into Tab. We'll select this. Go back into Tab. Hit A to deselect. Now this is probably one of the best features in Blender. We'll we'll turn this off for now. Actually, we'll just do Face Select mode. That's right here. You get your Line Select mode, where you can just select lines move just the line. You get your point select mode where you select the vertices and then your face select mode where you obviously select faces. I'll just use the face select mode for now it's a little easier. And uh, this is probably one of the largest uses of go back to point select mode. One of the largest modeling uh, tools there is. Hit E and this is called the extrude tool. So basically, I'll go back in the side view. Actually, I'll go in the front view. If you're going to be modeling something, this will be your main tool. I'll go ahead and hit B, select this. Actually, yeah. I'll hit E, extrude, E, extrude, hit Z again to get out of that. And then I'll probably hit X or uh, Y. Actually, I'll just turn that off and just, just scroll down. E one more time, hit Z to, to unlock it. I'll rotate it just that we get that angle. Extrude it again, hit Z again. Rotate, R. Extrude it one more time. I extrude it one more time. I just hit Z so that we can see the wireframe. And I'll rotate this. Actually, I want to see the wireframe. It's a little easier. Now you see you've got this basic weird looking thing. But this what's selected right now is a little bit looks like it could be wider. This section here looks like it's wider than this section here. Or rather this section here. So we'll just scale this corner up a bit. Actually, we will scale this one corner up here. G along the X. I know weird phrasing, isn't it? And there we go. That looks pretty good. Now, another thing that I, I found really is helpful is when, when if you wanted it to be a smooth object, we'll go into this here. We'll add a modifier, and this this really slows down your computer if you got a slow one. I don't suggest you do this, but you'll subdivide it, and you'll just uh, do a couple views here. Two, three. We'll go three views. Now hit tab again. Now, see, you can still edit in in the uh, boxes but you can see the actual smooth uh, you can see actually how it's going while you edit so I'll go ahead and just move that out you can see exactly what's happening with the smooth instead of having to second guess yourself all the time go line select mode select this one here move this one up G along the Z and you can kind of see what's going on. Now, one thing that um, you really don't want to do while you're doing this, if you're editing it while this is on, never apply it. Because, well, I mean, I'm in edit mode, so you can't. But if you accidentally go like this and apply it, accidentally apply it, then you tab back in, and it's this intense, weird mesh, which is really, really tough to edit. I'll tell you that right now. This would be absolutely a pain to try to get this into a good looking shape so we'll just control Z that add another modifier and you have to be in object mode to add it subdivide it again give it 
three, whoop, four views. And as you can see, my computer's already lagging a bit. Tab back in, and you get the picture. So, um, basically just, oh, one thing, take time. If you're going to be doing, uh, if you want to be modeling something, please take your time. You do not want something all rushed and, and hurried looking because then it just looks really, really bad. And I'll just grab this here. So we'll move it. Shift. We don't want it going up. Actually, we don't want it going that way. So. And that looks pretty awesome. So, yeah, I, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please leave a comment. Um, leave a comment. Rate, subscribe favorite, uh, like it, and feel free to message us if you have any questions whatsoever about anything, if you have a suggestion on a on another tutorial we should do, and please uh, just subscribe to us because every subscription counts. So I, uh, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Later.